Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. The sum of two rational numbers is a rational number. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now axiom seven tells us that every non-zero real number has a reciprocal. So for all non-zero real numbers x, there exists a real number, which we call the reciprocal of x, that has the property that x times the reciprocal of x is equal to 1. Now, using axiom 7, we have defined the operation of division as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers, where b is non-zero. We define a over b to be a times the reciprocal of b. Now, we have proven how to add two fractions. We have proven, given real numbers a, b, c, and d, where b and d are non-zero, then a over b plus c over d is equal to a, d plus b, c all over b, d. Now, since b and d are non-zero, well, we have long ago proven that the product of two non-zero real numbers is a non-zero real number. So this tells us that b times d is non-zero. So this expression on the right-hand side makes sense. And also, in our real number system, we have defined the integers as a subset of the real numbers. And we have proven that the sum of two integers is an integer, and the product of two integers is an integer. Or in other words, we have proven that the set of integers is closed under addition, and the set of integers is closed under multiplication. And now, we define the set of rational numbers as follows. We define the set of rational numbers to be the set of real numbers p, with the property that there exist integers a and b where b is non-zero, and p is equal to a over b. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start with the proof, let's first give ourselves two arbitrary rational numbers. I'll call them p and q. And from here, the whole goal is to show that p plus q is a rational number. Now, by definition of the rational numbers, since p is a rational number, this means that there exists integers, I'll call a and b, where b is non-zero and p is equal to a over b. And since q is a rational number, this means there exist integers I'll call c and d, such that d is non-zero and q is equal to c over d. Well then, if we perform p plus q, well, we can substitute p for a over b, and we can substitute q for c over d, but then, by star, we know that a over b plus c over d is equal to a d plus b c all over b d. Now, to show that p plus q is a rational number, we want to show that a d plus b c and b d are integers where b d is non-zero. Now, since b and d are non-zero, well, we know that the product of two non-zero real numbers is a non-zero real number. So, BD is non-zero. So now, we want to show that both AD plus BC and BD are integers. Well, since the set of integers is closed under multiplication, well, since A and D are integers, that tells us A times D is an integer. Since b and c are integers, that tells us b times c is an integer. Since b and d are integers, that tells us b times d is an integer. And then, using the fact that the set of integers is closed under addition, well, since ad and bc are integers, that tells us ad plus bc is an integer. And so, we have shown 
that A D plus B C is an integer, B D is an integer, and B D is non-zero. So this tells us that P plus Q satisfies all the requirements to be a rational number. The reason why is because in the definition of the rational numbers, if we take P to be P plus Q, then we know that there exist two integers with these two properties. Namely, let's take A to be AD plus BC, and let's take B to be BD. So we've just shown that these two guys are integers, we've shown that this guy is non-zero, and we have that P plus Q is equal to AD plus BC over BD. That's what we have here. So this tells us P plus Q satisfies all the requirements to be a rational number. And therefore, P plus Q is a rational number by definition. So we have shown if P and Q are any two rational numbers, then P plus Q is a rational number. So we've shown that the sum of any two rational numbers is a rational number. So this completes the proof. Right, and another way of saying this is that the set of rational numbers is closed under addition. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.